Welcome everyone, Jared Ambo here, owner of the Ambo Law Firm and founder of Trial Alliance. And this is the issue 37. Our topic for today is gaming. Well, what does that mean? So, I am a video gamer. I am a gamer, what people call it gamer, right? I play um, massive online, you know, multiplayer video games. Um, and I've played essentially the same one for the last 10 or 12 years. A um, little bit of World of Warcraft, but mostly this game called EverQuest 2. And, um, and I played it this weekend for the first time in months and months and months, right? I played it this weekend for the first time, wow, since probably late summer of last year. Now, there's a history to this. I have a tendency to play this game like a crazy person, like 12, 14 hours straight. <laughs> and so I got on this weekend, had a weekend in between uh, a very serious uh, trial I have going on in Ascension Parish right now. And... And I decided that instead of thinking about the trial all weekend and stressing about it, and we weren't going, we were out Friday, and we weren't going back until tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, I thought, I know what I'll do all weekend. I'll just kind of escape. I'll play some video games. I'll hang out with the family. And we'll watch TV. My wife and I went on a date Saturday. But that's not what this is about. This is about the video game because the truth of it is, is that I played a ton this weekend. And I kind of felt bad about it. I felt... Um, some shame and guilt like somehow I'd done something wrong right because that's my story about it my story about the video game is that it's bad in and of itself that it's bad to do it because I spend a lot of time doing it even when I say that it sounds like nonsense it sounds like an old story I've told myself about it right because there have been times in my life where that where I've spent so much time doing it that it's drawn away from my current life but I'll tell you what when I quit drinking two years ago, I went to playing this game a bunch. And it was an escape. And it was a reasonable and viable escape at that time because it was a whole lot better than being out in bars at night or drinking or doing something stupid, right? Doing something that wasn't congruent with where my health was headed at that time. And sure, did I play it a lot? You bet I did. And it served a very distinct purpose for me during that time because it helped me sort of get to a place where... I had enough time between me and the last time I had drank where it made sense, like, okay, I need to do something else. And about six months into playing this game, four or five nights a week, I, I turned to my wife and I said, you know what, I need to make some changes. Because if I'm sitting here playing this video game six months from now, I had made a commitment to her not to drink for a year. I said, if I, if I play this, if I'm playing this video game six months from now, we're still sitting here and I'm not doing anything with my life and I'm not making any changes then I'm just going to go back to drinking. And so I need to start making my life great so that it's a risk, so that the risk to drinking again doesn't make any sense with how much progress I've made. That was in the summer of, that was in late summer of 2017. And I started making changes and I started working out and I started exercising and I started, no, actually not at that time. I think at that time what I started doing was I started meditating I started reading. <laughs> and then in January of 2018, February of 2018 is when I started really exercising in full and really making the decision to make some serious changes in my life. But my point of this post is that I don't have to make playing this game evil and bad, right? I don't have to make drinking evil and bad. I don't have to make eating ice cream evil and bad. I don't have to make any of that stuff, right? I mean, the truth is, is that I play the video game a lot. I've also, for the last week... I've also eaten pretty freely for the last week um, in my life. And so do I have to make those things bad? Do I have to make it so that somehow that's a terrible thing? Or is that just something that's happened, right? Because in my head, if I have all this shame and guilt going on about eating ice cream or the shame and guilt about playing the game, then I sort of get caught in this cycle of feeling bad about it and so then I feel bad about it, so then I want to escape the sort of feeling bad, so then I do the escape you know, activity, and then when I do the escape activity, I sort of feel bad, and then when I feel bad, then I go back to doing it because I don't want to really feel bad, So I go, it's, and I get sort of stuck in this craziness, right? I get stuck in this craziness where making these decisions to do these things are, sort of put me in this cycle, this circle of, of behavior that I know does not serve my life in a way that is the most expansive thing, right? The most growth and the most expansion. And so 
I came away from this weekend and I sort of sat down this morning. I meditated and I thought about it and I thought about kind of where I was at and what I was doing with it. And I thought, you know, I thought two things. First of all, if I want to escape every once in a while and not be like 100% focused and, and committed to my growth and expansion 100% of the time, that's fine. It's okay. It's okay to not be so crazy about it that I, you know, like I'm like a, I don't want to sit on the couch and watch a movie because I need to read this book. Settle down. You know, it's okay. Spend some time with family. Spend some time. Hey, you know what? Date myself. Spend some time with me. Like, it's okay to just do something that's really entertaining to me. It's okay to have fun, right, in this process, right? And to not be so distracted from my growth and expansion that I do it in a, in a crazy way. And so that, that's really where I, I came off um, this, this weekend, coming out of this weekend and getting back to my sort of habits, right? Now I know that in order to get back on track, in order to get back where I want to be, that I need to revert back to my commitments, my habits of get up, do my core four, do those four things I do every day, cover those four bases every morning. And I did that this morning and it feels great. And I, and I, feel, I feel energetic, I feel full of energy, I feel full of fire. And I'm going into uh, back to trial tomorrow morning uh, to finish up this trial this week. And I feel good about where I'm at with it. I feel good that I took a little time to clear my head and to, uh, to kind of do some mindless uh, gaming this weekend <laughs> because it's put me in a, in a spot now, in a place now, where I didn't freak out and worry about the trial all weekend. I didn't uh, sort of go over in my head over and over and over again, which would have kind of driven me crazy all weekend, honestly. And so uh, here I am uh, in, a, in a different space with, uh, with my escape, my gaming escape, in a different space with uh, some of the things I do that, don't, that may not serve me 100%, but certainly um, make me happy and, and having fun and enjoying myself along the way is, uh, is very important. So that's my message today. Don't get too caught up. Um, keep the commitments. Keep your everyday stuff, but don't get too caught up in this idea that, that everything has to be done, that there's 100% sole purpose in life is to expand and grow. And, <laughs> and sometimes, sometimes I can uh, kill dragons and uh, find treasure. <laughs> Have a good afternoon. Thank you all for coming by. We'll uh, see you all tomorrow.